hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm just hamid down and this video i'll be talking about the cost of parapet construction in nigeria so if you have been searching for uh, parapet construction in nigeria or you like idea about the types of parapets we construct in nigeria this video is going to explain uh, in details uh, the type of parapets we have and its construction method so uh, let's just go straight to the video. So first of all, we have the uh, Precast parapet. That is the one the mold on the ground and, then the stuff. and then secondly we have On-site parapet. That is the one that the carpenter knocks up there So they do all the framing and the taping up there, but for the precast They use a range to draw it on the floor with sand and cement too they actually do it that way so most people actually ask themselves like which one is better um but for me i'll say the one which is better is the we have the the on site the one which the carpenter actually bought up that one is actually more better and i love it than the one they fix up because the one they draw on the ground and fix up actually takes uh, a longer process like it takes a longer time because you have to do the scaffold for the art man to come and stay and hang so the time is if you do not have time you should not be doing that one. if you have a kind of good carpenter which went to port for you I think you should do uh, the one for you should do the one for the on site the one that they bought up there so that one will be better and it will be faster for you to to work with and also you can roof your house on time so these are the two um, uh, concrete construction parapet concrete construction we have in Nigeria and what else again if you're asking yourself uh, materials they used materials they use is for the both of them um, they use planks and they also use cement they use rods quarter rods and um, the carpenters use nails and um, the binding wires. They also make use of the binding wires. It's uh, the plank, so you actually cut it down by sizes to any amount of length that they want it. If they want it to be three steps, they have to piece it down to three steps, and then they use it to board it up and give you the design you want. And then the other material you're going to be needing is the iron rods you're going to need the 12 mm rods for the beam and then you're going to need the 8 mm rods depending on the type of parapet and like the type of design you're going to be doing so those are the material you're going to be needing the 12 mm rod the 8 mm rods the binding wire and then for the carpenter you're going to get uh, nails for them two inches and the three inches nails which they are going to use so and also what again are you going to be needing you're going to be needed a uh, three three quarter um, three quarter chippings and then you have you're going to need the three quarter stone dust so the three quarter stone dust is the one that they used to do the finishing of the parapet why the three quarter is what they used to pour the beam so that it holds it up very very strongly so for this building you all can see um this building has been posted in my channel before so i'm going to give you the materials which we have actually used for this parapeting so we have bought uh, up to 40 pieces of 12 mm rods and then we actually bought uh, up to uh, 50 pieces of uh, 8 mm rods yeah so which we have actually used for this this work so so these are the materials you're going to get if you're actually asked by your engineer to get uh, a kind any kind of material for the parapet construction so for this penthouse we have actually uh, paid uh, for the labor cost which is for the carpenter we should pay the sum of 480,000 naira though it was bargained at the rate of 200,000 naira 
and then uh, for the for the iron works that is the yeah iron works yeah for the iron works we actually paid at least uh, eighty thousand naira for the iron works of this uh, concrete parapet and then uh, we have the pouring of it that is the pouring of the concrete fissure like the parapet I normally call it concrete fissure yeah but it's still correct though. so for the parapet we paid up to one round fifty thousand naira for it but depending on your location you have to know that it might increase in price because when we the the last video i did the last video i did i actually talk about how all this full scarcity and the dollar rate has affected the uh, labor cost also so depending on your location you, you might just pay too high and also uh the difference is between the the difference is between the precast parapet and the one the two that like the one the carpenter board is is just the it's um it's expenses like its labor charge is pretty different the one you do on there is a precast the precast is actually very high it has more like the labor cost is higher than this other one so that's why i also prefer the prefer the one the, car, the carpenter bought up because it saves me a lot of um, cost uh, while doing any kind of building construction so if you found this video useful um please kindly give it a give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and uh thanks for watching stay blessed and also stay safe